Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Today is Watford at home. We need the massive three points today. Obviously, both of us are in the bottom three. And yeah, last game we drew 2 2 to Arsenal. A last minute equaliser from Lacazette. Should have really won it with the chances we had, but yeah, today's Watford. I'm saying a 1 0 win for us. Danny Ings to score. So yeah, let's get into it, and I'll see you in a bit. Peace. <laughs>
back from the game, 2-0 win, brilliant win, massive win, every win you can describe it as. Joined by Ahmed, EFC Vlogs as well. He was at the UC game yeah. in the FA Cup, second round against Crew. How'd you get on? Well, basically, we drew 1-1, well but obviously against the Football League side, which we probably Please. could say dominated for the majority of the game. And obviously, your lonely re-signed from Southampton, Marcus Barnes scores the winner. Oh, not winner, sorry. The equaliser. How many goals has he scored now, do you think? Uh, it's one that just evolved. Obviously, one today. Torquay as well. Torquay, yep. Maybe we need Marcus Barnes back to have a score I'd some goals. I'd say four goals, if I'm correctly, four off the top of my head. So, yeah, EC are in the third round of the FA Cup draw. Um, they could get us, really, but who knows? Yeah, who knows? Would you like that? Mm, no, because Marcus Barnes would then when we played. <laughs> so. Are you literally relying on Marcus Barnes? Yeah, because Marcus Barnes is a good player, to be honest. A very good player. So, yeah, if you want to see the vlog of EC versus Crew, link will be in the, de the description down below. Check him out. Subscribe to his channel. Appreciate it if you do check me out. I'm catching him up, though. I'm like <laughs> sort of behind him. I'll catch you up soon. But yeah, on to today's game. First off, we were absolutely shocking. Um, Watford seemed like they wanted it more. And yeah, they capitalised on a mistake from Stevens. Great finish from Saar, to be fair. I believe that's his first goal of the season for them. But yeah, poor first half. The players got booed off. And then second half... Poor first maybe five, ten minutes. Then Hassan Hootall changed it up, brought on Bufal, brought on Shane Long. I thought Redmond was awful today as well. And yeah, Bufal came on, changed the game. Maybe he needs to hit his toe in the kitchen more often. As I thought he was injured to be honest, because Hassan Hootall said in his pre match notes that Bufal um stabbed his toe on in a kit in his kitchen or something. But yeah, he came on and just outskilled the Watford players and Jenepo as well just amazing but yeah first goal Dan Ings uh, right place right time really like he is box to box striker just taps the ball home scrappy goal great build up play from Jenepo as well to get past his man gets to the byline puts it into the good area and Ings just puts it home and then second goal we just need a statue of James Will Prowse outside St Mary's, to be honest. I mean, his free kicks are insane. Um, but yeah, free kick from Will Prowse. Literally, top corner is the only place he can really aim it. He puts it there and beats Ben Foster, and that makes it 2-1. Fans day were good as well. I know the stadium was a bit empty, but yeah, what can you expect when we haven't won a home game? But yeah. Really good result. Could say one out of two done. Next game is Norwich at home on Wednesday. Um, another massive game. Massive three points needed. If we win that, we could be out of the bottom three. So, yeah. That's the end of this video. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Peace.